Throughout this week, we are dissecting the Moon administration's policy blueprint, a five-part to closely examine the five main policy objectives. For our fourth installment, our Park ji zooms in on welfare, environment and culture. 32 out of the 100 policy goals are about Korea's welfare, environmental, educational and cultural policies, which are grouped under the title of government taking responsibility for people's livelihoods. One of the Moon administration's clearest goals is building the foundation of a so-called inclusive welfare state. Through a diverse range of benefits and financial aid, the government aims to decrease the poverty rate from 12.8% in 2015 to around 11% by the end of 2022. The government plans to increase the state monthly pension from the current 180 U.S. dollars a month to about $270 by the end of President Moon's term. The government will also fully fund child care services from next year and aims to increase the attendance rate of public kindergartens from 25 percent this year to 40 percent by 2022. The government also aims to gradually make the country's high school education free of charge from 2020 and complete the process by 2022. Currently, only elementary and middle school education is free in Korea. Strong environmental policies are also key. The government aims to decrease fine dust levels by 30 percent by 2022. To that end, it plans to close 10 coal power plants, which are over 30 years old, over the next five years. The government will also continue to temporarily shut down coal power plants every spring to lower fine dust levels. The government will support renewable energies and cancel further construction of nuclear power plants over the long term. However, due to some opposition, those plans still need further discussion at the National Assembly. Efforts to eliminate social discrimination, protect the rights of creators of cultural products, and guarantee low earners the right to enjoy culture will also be strengthened. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.